I mean, like you said, um, Novell, uh, or it might have been Atkins, one of them, you know, he said that they got eight guys that they, you know, they they believe they can go, you know, go to win with, a uh, win with, and then they have two more guys that they believe can play at a high level. Um, you know, so when you got that, you, you have all the re- production uh, returning from that we had from last year. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm really – I mean, as far as offense and defense, I'm not really concerned with with much. Uh, I feel a lot better about the secondary now, uh, from you know, from what we're hearing from the coaches and and uh, as far as you know, I mean, every time every time you turn around, you see a video of guys you know playing, getting their head around, making them play on the ball, or Adam Fuller, you know, p- putting something like mission takeaway um, and things like that. Um, and then, you know, the, the only concern really was safety. And so now that, you know, you got Kevin Knowles moving back there and then the young guys, you know, KJ Kirkland, Conrad Hussey, uh, those guys stepping up at that at that position. Now, ideally, you know, you, you don't want to have them play that much early in the season. But I think as we progress, you know, midpoint and, and later in the season, you'll see more of those guys. So, uh, I mean, other than, you know, kicker <laughs> other than <laughs> special teams i mean i really really it's all about just execution really man um and that was it last year they had you know they had you know opportunities to be an elite unit on offense last year it was just execution in a couple games uh or not having the horses at certain positions uh, like on the off- offensive line whenever they're in short yardage positions to to get that two yards or three yards when they needed it um, or, you know, or the kicker, you know, in, having to gamble knowing you didn't have a kicker, you're not really impacted things. And then defensively, uh, I know a lot of people give crap to the defense, but I mean, you know, whenever you didn't have Lovett out there, yeah, there was, there was some concern as far as stopping the run, um, and things of that nature. But whenever you put him back out there, uh, and then you add Fisk and, uh, more depth there, uh, defensive end with, uh, Verse and Peyton and then Edmund, uh, you have way more depth, or way more proven guys than you did at this time last year. You think about it this year, la- last last year at this time, we really didn't know what Jared Verse was. We had an idea, but he hadn't proven it at that level yet. Um, Patrick Payton, redshirt freshman. <laughs> uh, you had Derek McClendon. You know, I mean, he was you know a good player, but he wasn't you know anything that you know that you threw out there and like, hey, he's going to dominate. But this year, totally different story. Um, across the board, you know, so yeah, I really don't have that many concerns. And then you look at what the other teams have, or what they're bringing back. Um, you know, and really, I, uh, I spoke about it on one of the episodes on, on my podcast. You know, but it's a two, it's a two team schedule, really. And you have both of those teams early. Um, so if you take care of business the way I think they should, then um, yeah, it's sky's the limit as long as you you know stay healthy. Yeah, man, the difference with that defensive line the last year, Fabo was hurt. You mentioned Derek McClendon. I think he played more snaps than anybody. He had like 650 snaps just because he was the one defensive end that stayed healthy all year. Um, Verse got dinged up in that Louisville game. I believe he only had like 300 snaps. You know, you think mm-hmm. about it, how much hype there is behind him. I believe he had nine sacks and like to only play 300-something snaps. And that's yeah. pretty impressive. And people forget about the wide receivers. Like all four of those four, <laughs> we brought in four wide receivers last year. And it's like Johnny Wilson has just been a part of the team forever. But I mean, he just got here last year. He almost had a thousand yard year. Um, I believe he had five touchdowns. He's about to go off. You bring in Keon Coleman, but not to get distracted, to stay on the defensive line. That was it. It was depth at the defensive line because when Lovett got hurt, it was a big time drop off to that number two and that number three. This yeah. year, bringing in Fisk and getting Iobama to Tafase off the practice squad, I believe both those guys are better than what the second, you know, the second defensive tackle coming off the bench last year was, and that just makes such a huge difference. And it, it's such a shame we don't get Daryl Jackson, but hopefully. Mm-hmm. Some of the politicians can get that. And sorry to cut you off. I was just <laughs> on a roll. No, no, no. No, you're good. Also, you know, um, you talk about Verse only playing about 300 snaps. And, and, and of those 300, how many of those were like 70%? Um, you know, because he, he wasn't fully healthy. Malcolm Ray wasn't fully healthy. You know, you had Daniel Lyons, who we haven't even mentioned yet, who has another year on his belt, just as Tafasi does. Um, you know, and so, yeah, I mean, you have more more experience. These guys have another year of strength and conditioning under their belt. 
And um, yeah, I mean, when you can when you can rotate, when you can rotate those guys and not have a drop off. And but you saw it last year. Uh, matter of fact, I think it was, it might have been like, uh, it might have been the Boston Cop. No, it was the Miami game. Miami game. We you know we were blowing them out, and they put they put the um, the second third team guys in, and, and Miami like went right down the field. And then they put the ones back in as they got near the goal line, I think the 15 to 10 yard line. And then they kept mm-hmm. them out of the end zone, you know, and it yeah. was, but it was a massive difference. It was like, bro, they, they're running it down their throats whenever you got the backups in, but I don't think that'll be the case this year. Yeah. There was a clear, I mean, a clear line of demarcation. You just had way too big of a drop off from the first string to the second string. And even Robert Cooper was fighting a shoulder injury all year. We just, mm-hmm. we were decimated by injuries at that group. And, the, and, like, guys had to play because we just weren't that deep. And it's just just a total opposite thing. Braden Fisk has kind of been, you know, talking about camp. He's kind of been the story of camp. You know, you, a guy that's 305 pounds. The big thing that I keep hearing is that he is just extremely fast off the ball. No matter who mm-hmm. you talk to that scene practice, if you look down the defensive line when they – when the quarterback snaps it, he's the first head to moves every single time. Mm-hmm. And I think that's a big part of what we were missing at the defensive line. Fabian Lovett was great at that first step, and he gets his hands on guys, swim moves, jumps past. But that's not Robert Cooper's game at all. Mm-hmm. And with Fabo dinged up and Robert Cooper, especially with his shoulder hurt, it definitely wasn't his game last year. So I just – man, it's just going to be such a different level of explosion coming off the snap. And like we've talked about, to have guys like Io. And Farmer, who's going to be an even much better player than he was last year, and also, you know, 100% healthy. It's just going to be a fun time to watch that defensive line work. 